Excalibur is the legendary sword of King Arthur, a weapon forged in myth and magic designed for a king. But today we're bringing this timeless icon into the modern age and we're 3D printing Excalibur. In our theory legend, Excalibur wasn't just a weapon, it was a symbol of destiny. Some say it was given to Arthur by the Lady of the Lake, shimmering with divine power. Others recall the famous stone where only the rightful king could draw it. I'm Brian DeLuca and this is Maker Builder, and today we are bringing the legendary sword of Excalibur to life with a model from Loot Studios. What I liked about this print, it has the essence of grandeur, but it's something that anyone could do at home with their 3D printers. Using some filament, some resin, and some paint, we're going to make this look like it emerged right from the legend of King Arthur. Let's get this modern version of Excalibur printed. If Sir Kay were here, he'd claim he printed it first. Few weapons in mythology are as iconic as Excalibur, known as the Blade of Kings. It embodies themes of power, justice, and destiny, while holding a revered place in Arthurian legend. Its story has evolved over centuries, blending historical possibilities with fantastical myth. So I realized I'm gonna run into two issues with how I planned on assembling Excalibur. The first was this hole that runs through the sword. I thought I was gonna be able to run a 316 dowel through, but it's actually only three millimeters and change and 100% print, so I'm not really gonna be able to use that. Then I also realized that the sword, the rock that the sword goes through, runs all the way through. And I realized, unless, if you're on a table, Right? If you want to use this as a table display, it's not going to work. Right? You're not going to be able to put Excalibur all the way through. So I think I found one solution that will fix both problems. I plastic welded the rock base for Excalibur, but forgot the glue. Merlin would be shaking his staff at me right now, muttering something about modern magic gone wrong. Excalibur's origins vary across different accounts. In some tales, it is the very sword pulled from the stone, that proved Arthur's right to rule Britain. However, other versions claim that Excalibur was a different weapon, gifted to Arthur by the Lady of the Lake. This magical figure emerged from the mystical waters to bestow the sword upon the young king, a moment of divine recognition for Arthur's destiny. I said I had an idea of how we're gonna create this so it could be desktop versus just a sword that's glued together, right? So. Basically, the concept is we're going to take some of these magnets, we're going to break off these little nubs here, and basically we're going to drill holes, add magnets in here, that basically use the nub spacing where magnets go in order to um, put the other side of the magnet, and then it should pretty much pull together. So really the only piece we're modifying is this, the bottom part of the sword, the thickest part. So we're just going to break off these little nubs, and we're just going to drill through here. Excalibur was no ordinary blade, its powers elevated Arthur over all other warriors. Excalibur was said to cut through anything. It was invincible in battle, making Arthur an unstoppable force against his enemies. When unsheathed, Excalibur could blind Arthur's foes with radiant light, a feature symbolizing divine justice and purity. And all I'm using is these four millimeter magnets. Now, do I think it's gonna be enough to really hold it, you know, with a lot of strength? No, but it's gonna be enough for it to be, I'm not using this as a cosplay piece, this is more of a display piece. So I think those four millimeters will hold, especially that I'm using three of them, will hold the sword together well enough. Surprisingly, the scabbard of Excalibur was considered even more valuable than the sword itself. It protected Arthur from the mortal wounds by preventing him from bleeding, making him nearly invincible in combat. This magical scabbard, however, was stolen by Arthur's half-sister Morgana, ultimately leading to his downfall. Beyond the physical prowess, Excalibur was the ultimate symbol of Arthur's right to rule. It represented his divine authority, justice, and the unity of Camelot. Don't forget your gloves when you're using any chemicals, even the super glue. I should have my gloves on. Always... Safety first, you know, safety goggles. I'm wearing glasses, but safety goggles, if you don't have glasses, some people like to wear safety goggles over their glasses. 
and we're just going to do this piece. Same thing, we're going to put JP Weld on the nubs because this is going to be the blade that's going to attach. And this is going to be our moment of truth later, whether it could hold it. After Arthur's final battle in Camlin, he was laying dying. He ordered Sir Bedivere to return Excalibur to the Lady of the Lake. So we're going to let this dry for a bit and let's see if the magnets hold. While making the resin gems for the sword, I used the Forbidden Elixir. If Merlin saw it, he'd probably warn drink that and you'll end up turning into a frog, or worse, Mordred. Reluctant at first, Bedivere eventually cast the sword into the mystical waters, where a hand emerged, caught the blade, and drew it beneath the surface. The act signified the end of Arthur's reign and the return of Excalibur to the magical realm, where it waits for the once and future king to rise again. I couldn't decide on the color for the center gem, so I went with ruby red. Guinevere would say it's romantic, but I think it matches Lancelot's tendency to cause drama. I was hoping the magnets would work so well, the sword is practically Excalibur's long lost twin. Morgana's spells have nothing on modern engineering. What was I just saying about Morgana's spells? Obviously, I was not correct. The magnets didn't hold, um, you know, I had a feeling they may have been a little too weak. And I did test them on certain things that I thought, you know, it would hold the weight of the, the sword blade. Um, the thing about this model, though, that I noticed, and you see here, these little teeth are part of the print. And what happened is, even on this other piece, um, they wind up just snapping, snapping off. So right now, it looks like the blade is just gonna sit in the stone on my desktop. And while this Excalibur may not have magical powers, hell, I can't even get the magnets to work, it's a reminder of the power of storytelling, innovation, and craftsmanship. From the myths of the past to the technologies of the future, Excalibur bridges that gap. It's a testament to how legends inspire us to create. Now, what will you do with your own Excalibur? Remember, every hero's journey has its ups and downs, but they all start with the same thing, a spark of imagination. I think next I'll build a flaming sword, but before that, I have one other cosplay prop I want to build. For more on 3D printing, DIY, or maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It, and remember, keep on making. Thank you.